Hello and welcome to another edition of Currently in Quincy. I'm Joe Catalano. Today we learn about a brand new fundraiser to benefit the Quincy Animal Shelter. First though, as always, we take a look at the weather and the news for you. Currently in Quincy, it's beautiful out there. Lots of sunshine, 44 degrees right now. Today will turn out partly sunny and mild. Highs in the low 50s this afternoon. Dropping off to the lower 30s this evening under partly cloudy skies. And really warming up this week, but it comes with some stormy weather. We've got rain moving in tomorrow night. Highs tomorrow though up around 60 degrees. Looks like the rain and the wind will continue through the day on Wednesday. Still pretty mild Wednesday. Highs in the upper 50s. Temperatures drop off Wednesday night though and the precipitation could end as some wet snow Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. Then clearing out on Thursday. Windy and much colder. Highs Thursday only in the mid 30s. We will uh, warm up again for the first day of March on Friday. But right now we have lots of sunshine and 44 degrees here in Quincy. Checking out news for you today, a proposal for a new development in Quincy Center that may include a Trader Joe's market is now moving forward. The Quincy Planning Board last week unanimously approved of that proposal for a seven story, 300 unit apartment complex with ground level retail that could be a Trader Joe's. The plan also calls for an eight story, 987 space parking garage that the city would fund. DJ McKinnon from Atlantic Development says a portion of the new garage will be set aside for residents of the new apartment building. So, yeah, so under the zoning um, would be required to have for the 300 units, it's 324 because it's based on the, it's in, the, it's in our application, it's based on the bedroom count for the residential. But we do have uh, language that over time, if the demand for parking goes down, that we would then work with the city, with the traffic department, uh, with the folks that act, because we actually end up with a, a long-term lease on the parking. Mm -hmm. So there'd be a mechanism in the lease, probably you know, every five years, you take a look at that. And if we find that our actual demand for parking has gone down, which it could well, um, the city could reduce the number of spaces that we have, but, but then make them available for other uses downtown. So they don't want us holding on to parking that we don't need. Quite frankly, we don't want to pay for parking that, we're not going to, that we don't need. But it's going to start off you know, following the, uh, following the formula in the zone. So the new project would go with the current site of the IHOP restaurant that the city took by eminent domain and paid $9.4 million for. City then sold the property to Atlantic for $7.3 million. During the hearing last week, several local union members urged the developer to use responsible local contractors on the project. Atlantic hopes to break ground later this year. Early voting continues this week for the March 5th presidential primary election. Voters may cast ballots in the Great Hall at Quincy City Hall today through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. is the last day and hour to request a mail-in ballot for the primary. Mail-in ballots are due back in the city clerk's office by March 5th at 8 p.m. City Clerk Nicole Crispo says in-person voting will also take place on March 5th from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. and that some improvements have been made to some of the polling locations based on voter feedback. Ward 6, Precinct 1 and 2 at North Quincy High School. Everybody is accustomed to voting in the, the gymnasium. However, um, you know, we've brought on the poll pad and we're um, to check in. And what's important about that is just to have um, places to plug the poll pad in. And so for that, we've um, decided that to vote in the cafeteria would be easier because there's more um, electrical outlets in the cafeteria, same entrance as um, their, the Hunt Street entrance um, will be utilized. However, we're working with the superintendent and school security. We think that we are, it's a straight shot down to the cafeteria that will try to leave one door open in the front of the building, which we've heard for you know many years that people like to park in the front there. So um, we're gonna try to leave one door open in the front and um, which will be door number four. We'll have signage there. 
um, and a security officer there at the front so people can go right down and vote and come right back out at the front of the building. Um, Southwest Middle School, Ward 4, Precinct 1, and Ward 5, 1, um, Granite Street, parking in the front and in the side lot. We understand that people like to park in the back. However, um, we were still working it out. There's still some logistics um, there, but we encourage you to park in the front of the building. Like I said, there's no school. You can park where the buses pull up. You can park on the side. We did have some people holding signs in the in the um, local election, which we don't anticipate for this one. So um, there should be plenty of parking there in the front on the Granite Street side. Few other changes include moving the voting from the auditorium to the cafeteria at the Broad Meadows Middle School and improved lighting at the Point Webster and Snug Harbor schools. As Nicole said, there's no school on March 5th because of the primary. Crispo is predicting anywhere from a 25 to 38 percent voter turnout in the primary election. Well, a Lowell man will be back in Quincy District Court tomorrow, charged with shooting another man who was sitting in a car parked in Quincy earlier this month. 34-year-old Daniel Rivera facing attempted murder charges after police say he shot the victim in the thigh while he was sitting in a car parked at Elm Avenue and Marlboro Streets in Wollaston at about 2 a.m. on February 16th. The victim was treated and released from the hospital. Police say the victim is the ex-boyfriend of Rivera's current girlfriend and that the two men had a confrontation earlier that night in the woman's nearby apartment. Rivera was arrested later that day at the CVS on Beale Street. Police say they also found drugs on Rivera and in the victim's car. Officers also recovered two shell casings and a bullet fragment from the shooting scene. Rivera has pleaded not guilty to charges including attempted murder and drug and firearms violations. He's been held without bail and will appear for a dangerousness hearing tomorrow in Quincy District Court. Well, now that funding has been approved to begin planning the Quincy 400 activities for next year, city leaders say they're moving forward in organizing events and booking dates. City Council recently approved spending $600,000 from the city's hotel motel tax fund to pay for the planning. And Chief of Staff Chris Walker says beginning early next year, there'll be something going on to mark the city's 400th anniversary as a settlement every month. It's certainly going to be all year. Um, I would suggest monthly something, absolutely. Um, there are going to be things that are just going from the first part of the year to the end of the year, the, the educational programs uh, in the schools. That's just going to go. Um, you know, the Heritage Tree Program and the Signage Program, those aren't, you know, events per se, but they're part of this. And those are just going to, as the plan and the projects themselves, flush themselves out, those are just going to go. That's going to be an all year thing. So you could have, you know, X amount of trees, heritage trees with the story that goes with them. Um, you could have, you know, one every other week for a certain amount of time that we're doing that way. I mean, this is going to be, and that's why part of this as well, there's, there's definitely going to be a need for some project management, uh, particularly when it comes to the calendar, uh, because we got to be careful not running up against, and, and this party well knows the, the community events, Mm -hmm. uh, the major events that happen in the city every year. Um, you know, we got to make sure we fill those, uh, make sure we're, we're cognizant and respectful um, not to put anything that, that already happens on a regular basis and is good for the city, you know, sort of on a back burner. So we do have to be very, very careful with the calendar. Walker says many of the activities for Quincy 400 will come from a series of community meetings that were held several years ago. Events may include concerts, museum exhibits, lecture series, and programs in the schools. Mayor Thomas Koch says he hopes to have a shovel in the ground on a new center for the arts in Quincy Center as part of the Quincy 400 celebration. That's our check of news for you today. Coming up, we meet Wendy Adams, who is undertaking a brand new fundraiser to benefit the Quincy Animal Shelter. That's next.
Welcome back. The Pooch Playoffs are underway to benefit the Quincy Animal Shelter. You've heard of March Madness, right? This is, I guess, Mutt Madness uh, photography uh, competition to benefit the shelter. And Quincy photographer Wendy Adams is spearheading it. She's here to tell us all about it. Nice to meet you, Wendy. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, thanks for coming over. Appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having me. You are very welcome. A lifelong Quincy resident. Yes. Right? And a photographer right here in Quincy. Yes. So tell me the Wendy Adams story before we talk about the shelter and the fundraiser. I grew up in Quincy. Yeah. Um, my parents moved to the house I live in now when I was two. Wow. I've pretty much lived there ever since, yep. with just a little exception. I went to college in Boston, the Art Institute of Boston for Photography. I have my bachelor's in photography and commuted back and forth to Quincy every day. Sure. Uh, absolutely loved it. Went to all Quincy public schools. Okay. Raised my kids here too. Yeah, I love Quincy. Wow. So I have to ask, with a last name like Adams, is, <laughs> is there any connection? No. 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 We were told when we were kids that there was um, a connection to Samuel Adams. Yeah. And I did my DNA. Nothing turned up. <laughs> okay. And I found out from my huge amount of cousins. One of them said no. Oh. They just that was wishful thinking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so no, there's no relation. Interesting. <laughs> uh, but you can play off that in the city. Yes, you know? <laughs> yes, it comes in handy. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you get connected with the, with the animal shelter? I've always been an animal lover my whole life, yeah. and we actually adopted a cat from them in 2011. I had had donations that my kids and I were bringing to the shelter, mm -hmm. and I gave them this big speech in the car, don't fall in love with anyone, <laughs> we're not taking, and, and it was me. You failed. And, yeah, you I failed. You failed your own test. Yeah. yeah, and we brought home a cat named yeah. Autumn. Okay. And um, my aunt has been a volunteer there for, I think she says 12 years. Wow. And I've always loved the shelter, so I always promote them and, stu and yes. donate and stuff like that. Yeah. So this is something new, though, right? This pooch playoffs. Yes, yeah. yes. It's new, and it's super exciting. Yeah. This is my first year doing it. I joined a business group last year, and they do it every year. And they've been doing it for, this is their fourth year. Okay. And, but it's my first year, so I'm learning as I go. Yeah. Um, but it's been a wonderful experience. Okay, so how does it all work, Wendy, this, uh, this bracket-style competition yeah. for dogs, right? So we've got 16 dogs, okay. and we have all our dogs in place. I do a photo session with each one. And then what we do is the owners choose the image that will be in the contest, okay. which has not been easy for them, I but bet. they've done it. And what we're going to do is, and mid-ish March, I, I'm believing it, uh, March 22nd, we will have the first round of voting. And it's going to be just like March Madness, mm -hmm. where we'll have 16 dogs, and they'll be two pitted against each other. And on day one, you'll have to vote for all. You'll have to go down the line and vote for one out of each sections of two, yep. if that makes sense. Yep. And then the winners all go on to the next round, where there'll be eight, and then there'll be four, and then two, and then one. Okay. How did you find the 16 dogs uh, to photograph? How did that a work? lot of promotion. Yeah. Uh, the animal shelter was wonderful about promoting. We ha actually have quite a few of the shelter volunteers enrolled with their dogs. Oh, that's great. Yeah, okay. so it's just all promotion and word of mouth and, and stuff like that. Okay, and you did the shoots right at the shelter? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. the shelter in their new space. They have a great space. We're actually using their break room, so we're just cleaning <laughs> everything out. And it's perfect because you can't hear the shelter animals, so our dogs can come in and go out, and they won't get stressed out by hearing lots of barking. Okay, all right. And you brought an example uh, of yeah. what uh, a photo might look like, right? <laughs> yeah, this is... So who, who is this? This is actually one of my dogs. Okay. I have three. This is Daisy. <laughs> She <laughs> loves to wear things, so I had to put like a daisy on her head. No, this is not Photoshop, right? You actually... No, this is actually okay. her wearing it. That's why she's got that look on her face. <laughs> like, get this thing off of me. <laughs> <laughs> why are you doing this to yeah, me? Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, so sh this is just a sample. She's not in the contest. Okay. Uh, well, you, you can't compete because obviously... Look at her. Conflict, right? <laughs> yeah. And she'd win our hands, hands down, her. right? Hands down, for sure. Yeah, yeah, we have so many cute animals, yeah. though. So now, do the... Uh, do the people who uh, participate get a copy of the photos? They have work? the opportunity to purchase oh, okay. products. Yeah. I sell products. I'm kind of like, I describe myself as an old-fashioned photographer. I yeah. believe in artwork on the walls. Oh. So they have the opportunity to purchase all kinds of products, and that's one of the samples. Fun, okay. Yeah. So how does this benefit the shelter, Wendy? And the shelter work? is getting all of the sitting fee, or the session fees, okay. which are 150 per participant. Oh, okay. 
And I'm also hoping that throughout the contest, especially when the voting comes, that yep. people will just donate some money sure. to the shelter because yeah. they're always free to do that. Okay. I was going to say, even if they're not participating in yeah. this, they can still I've actually had donate. a few people already that have done that. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's it's super. been wonderful. So, but this is not just Quincy based, right? This, this is going to go national. Yeah, it's yeah. going to go national. <laughs> so my business group is all over the U.S., yeah. Canada. Uh, there's even one in Australia, but I don't oh, believe wow. she's not participating. So our winners will all compete against each other. Wow. So there's a second chance to win. And I'm hoping that people that come and vote will come back and vote for the second round because the winner will get two Yeti bowls, which I guess are, are super frou-frou. Mm. But they will also get a good donation to the charity of their choice. Okay. So if we win, then the Quincy Animal Shelter will get some more cash. On top of great. On what, top of what everything else. Getting from 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 your fundraiser. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's super. Has the shelter talked about uh, what they would use the the funds for? No. Okay. I haven't asked them because I know there's always such great need. Yeah. And there's always so many places that they could use the money. It's 100% volunteer run. Yeah. Know, there's one paid position and it's a nominal you know compensation. They're Just, amazing. Yeah. They do so amazing work. They do great great things. Yeah. So, uh, I know they're trying to get into their new location maybe yeah. one day up on Quarry Street but right now the West Guantanamo Street location yeah. is uh, miles above where they it were. It really is. Yeah. It's a nice space. I think they're pretty happy there for the time being. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I can't wait to see the new one. <laughs> So, so can they? Yeah, <laughs> I know. Um, so when does the national competition happen? That's going to be at the beginning of April. Okay. So our competition will round out at the very end of March. We'll have our winner by the end of March, and I will send our winner to the new. I, I've been told April 2nd, okay. and it will be a one-off vote. So it will just be one day of voting, winner takes all. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have to pay to vote? No, you no. do not have okay. to pay to vote. You'll go to my website when the voting time comes, okay. and then you'll click on a link, and you will have to put in your name and your phone and your email address. Okay. And from what I told, I'm the only one that sees it. Oh, all right. So it's not like it goes on some spam list. Right, okay, yeah. very good. And it's free. And it's free, so there you go. And actually, you can vote once per day. So every voting session is two days, so you can vote twice, technically. Can you vote for your own? Pooch, Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know you can access it right through the Animal Shelter's website mm -hmm. um, as well. So good for you for doing this, but how did you get the idea? You know, how did they first come I about? got it from the business group, oh, so right. I can't take credit for it. Okay. Someone else had thought of it, and they've been doing it for four years, so mm. they've kind of got it down to a science at this point, and I just jumped in yeah. <laughs> and said, I want to do this. Well, I mean, as you know, folks love to have, you know, their pets photographed. Um, the, the shelter does a calendar every year yes. uh, which is hugely successful absolutely yeah. and our pets are family members right. they really are so they deserve to have portraits taken of them what does the local uh, winner win you know here in Quincy? I have three prizes okay my talk and I'm still working out oh, right. which ones are going to be which I have a basket that was donated by um, polka dog that's all filled with treats Great. I have another basket that was donated from another local business that has coffee and wine and some dog treats in it too. It's called Beans Are to Coffee as Grapes Are to Wine is the name of her business. Huh, okay. And then the third basket we're still putting together. Okay. And then I'm going to determine which one will go to which. All right. Okay. Very good. Speaking of um, sponsors, you've had some folks really step up to help you with this. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. I've been very lucky. We had Quirk Cars uh, that were wonderful. They were a great sponsor. Mm -hmm. Uh, leader of the Pack, which is a training facility in Quincy on West Elm Ave. Oh. Um, they were sponsored. Superlative Printing provided all our print work, which was wonderful. Mm. And what's the last? And the VCA. VCA. Yeah. How could I forget? VCA <laughs> Animal Hospital in yeah. Weymouth. They donated these amazing backpacks. Every contestant gets a swag bag. Oh. That's and it, they donated these amazing backpacks that had all this cool stuff in it and there were other things too donated by other businesses. Sure, yeah. So do you think that this fundraiser will inspire folks to get more involved with the shelter? I hope so. Yeah. They're always looking for volunteers and we were able to photograph a couple of the shelter dogs as well yes. the last session and I'm hoping to do a few more in, in the last session this coming Sunday and to highlight them too so maybe people will see them and get them adopted. I was going to ask about that. You know, because some of the local uh, TV stations have like their 
featured shelter of the week where yeah. they bring in, you know, uh, select pets and try yeah. and find them forever homes. Yeah, right? they've or, got some great dogs. Or at least foster homes. Yeah. yeah, and lots of wonderful cats, too. We're not doing cats, but I did photograph a cat just to highlight. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be next next year. Will, yeah. you, will you do this again? This is your first time. I am time. absolutely doing this again yeah. next year. I've already decided I'm having the time of my life. Really? I've met some wonderful people and amazing dogs. I'm just a huge dog lover, yeah. so it's been a lot of fun. Will it inspire you maybe to volunteer? For your I time? would love to volunteer. Yeah. I just need to like carve out some free time. Sure. That's the tough part. Sure, yeah, absolutely. But it's definitely in my future. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, you know, this probably has brought some exposure for you as well. So yeah. that folks know. Oh, yeah, definitely. Lifelong Quincy resident, right? Yeah, uh, get the word out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How has, uh, you say you're an old school photographer. So what's new school? Well, I, I guess it depends on how you look at old school versus new school. Okay. I mean, I've been doing this for so long. Mm -hmm. I started with film, dark room, um, developing, really? doing all your own. And then obviously had to transfer to digital. Certainly, yeah. I always tell people it took me an embarrassingly long time to switch to digital, <laughs> but I would, probably would not go back. I know film has had a resurgence, yeah. but I, I, I would take my laptop working over the smelly darkroom chemicals sure. any day. Yeah. <laughs> and you can do a lot more on the computer. Sure. Um, color or black and white? It depends. Ah, okay. I love black and white, mm. but I'm a bit of a snob, <laughs> so I would rather do black and white when I can print it myself, mm. which really isn't feasible for me right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but I love both. It really depends on the image. Okay. Uh, now, have folks from the shelter um, got involved with this too, Wendy? Some they of the have been helping me a lot. Is that right? Yes. Um, my Aunt Myrna Dacey, who's been a volunteer there for years, she's been helping me with the sessions, okay. which has been phenomenal. Because it's not easy to get dogs to sit no. for a photograph, right? Yeah. I know. It's, it's challenging. Yeah. It's like dogs and toddlers. Right. <laughs> They're very similar in a lot of ways. Yes. But both are a lot of fun. Sure. Um, but yeah, and, and some other have been coming in to help me, and just the, the availability the promotion they've been doing they've been fabulous yeah. and the board as well has helped you as well the yeah board of directors yeah mm -hmm. it's been great has social media caught on we're working on okay. it okay. I, I think that the shelter has a pretty good size they have a good following base, yes, yeah. and they've been really good about promoting it so that's how I got most of my contestants was oh, really? through them yeah and they continue to promote it so it's okay. been going really well now the contestants are they just the, from the area, or are they from all over? They're fr they don't have to be from Quincy. Okay. So we do have some that are outside of Quincy. Most of them are from Quincy, though. Okay. Which is surprising. I was expecting to get like a little more of a widespread, but it's been great because yeah. I love Quincy. So it's been nice to have the Quincy folks participating. So now it's, all the spots are filled, though, right? It is all the too spots late are filled. To get your dog in. It's too late, yeah. but, but follow me along for next year because okay. I already know I'm doing it next year. There you go. And it can get an earlier start next year because nope. I'll be more prepared. <laughs> okay. Give us a little uh, preview of what types of dogs uh, are competing. Oh my gosh. It, you know what? We have not had any repeats. Ah. We've had so many breeds. We've had Basset Hounds, St. Bernard, <laughs> Dalmatian, Black Lab, Golden Retriever, um, Puggles. <laughs> uh, we have, next week we have a Yorkie and Greyhounds. Wow, okay. I'm trying to think if I forgot any, and, and quite a few mixed breeds, sure. and they all look different. So it'll, it's going to make for a really interesting voting bracket. Now, have folks uh, dressed them up like you dressed Daisy up? They're, they always have the ability to, okay. but so far no one's had anything on their head. Oh. We've had a couple little bow ties. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's been it so far. Um, all ages of dogs? I'm assuming. All ages. Yeah. yeah, we have some older dogs. We have some younger dogs. They're just such a big variety. Big dogs, small dogs. Yeah. Puppies? We haven't had no any puppies? little puppies. Okay. Not any little that, puppies. That would really skew the voting, I would think. It could possibly. <laughs> How could you not, right? I know. Yeah. I know they are. They're so cute. <laughs> Uh, so again, uh, how do folks participate? How do they how do they vote? Because it's too late to enter. So yeah. So in order vote. to vote, you just go to my website, okay. and I will have all the instructions on the website. There's a landing page when you go to my site. Click on Pooch Playoffs. Okay. And I'm keeping it updated too, so there's been information up there all along. Okay. And when I have definite voting dates, everything will be listed there, and there'll be a link. They can just click on the link, and that will take them to the voting site. Yep, and you can get through that through the shelter's yes. website, or we've been putting your phone number up too, if that's okay. Yeah, so folks can give yeah you a call absolutely. If they have questions. Mm -hmm. okay. Anything else we should let folks know about right now, Wendy? Oh, I think that's about it. Just please vote. Yes. Especially for the end one, <laughs> the very last one. That's going to be high stakes. <laughs>
national I'm competition. I'm competitive. Yeah, right? I want to win. All right. All right. <laughs> I want our dog to win, and I, I have no idea who is going to win. They're just they're all they're all so adorable. Yeah, it sounds like fun, and it's for yeah. a great cause. It is for the shelter. Yeah, it's been a great time. Thanks for coming by and sharing with us. Thanks uh, for having me. You're welcome. Hope we help uh, get the word out for you. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Check the forecast for you for the rest of the day today. Lots of sunshine. It's actually kind of the nicest day of the week, so get out and enjoy it. It'll be a highs in the low 50s this afternoon with a mix of sun and clouds. Down to the lower 30s this evening. A little warmer tomorrow, but by the end of the day tomorrow, things are going to start to turn as some rain moves in. Looks a, like a windy, wet and mild day here on Wednesday with highs in the upper 50s and uh, turning colder for the last day of February on Thursday with highs only in the mid 30s. Thanks again to Wendy Adams for joining us to help out the Quincy Animal Shelter Pooch Playoffs. Thank you. Thanks to our crew. Thank you for watching Friday here on the show. Albina Stobbs Fry from the Quincy Quarry and Granite Workers Museum. Meantime, visit our website anytime. It's QATV.org. You'll find our latest programs. There's news and information, video on demand, live streaming, and much more. For all of us here at QATV, I'm Joe Catalano. Have a great week.